Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Happy Memorial Day. I'm just kidding. It's not morning, but happy Memorial Day. I did get up in the morning. I just ha haven't started my vlog till now. It's like 1.30 ish. Um, let's see. Can I get some? Okay, there we go. You can actually see me now. Uh, yeah, I'm having this sit on my bookcase just because I can't be bothered to hold the camera up right now. That sounds so lazy. Not because it's so hard, just because, I don't know, I just, I have this available, might as well put it there. Rambling, sorry. Um, uh, I'm wearing my gym gear. Uh, can't see it, but whatever. Um, it's very cold out, though, so I'm wearing sweats and my old friend's jacket. Is that how you say jacket? I don't know. I am going to the gym now. Uh, I haven't been to the gym in about a week. I stuck with it for like a week and a half maybe and then uh, I haven't been I had a rough time for a little while so I barely could get out of bed uh, because due to mental stuff but um going back today plan on going every day and today's Monday so great time to start uh, any day is a great time to start FYI but I'm gonna go to the gym and try doing it again for an entire week. I'm starting, I was at 20 minutes last time I was there, but I'm gonna go back to 15 since I haven't been to the gym in a while. So I'm gonna do 15 minutes for the next week and then hopefully stick with it this time. Um, I think I will though, cause uh, I just need to be more consistent. Consistency is very, very important. As far as this whole shebang that I'm gonna be handling, as far as the eating, uh, I just thought I'd update you guys in this vlog. Um, just as far as the eating, I'm kind of back to just kind of eating whatever's in the house, whatever's cheap, which isn't good. The eating is definitely what I'm struggling with the most, uh, and it always has been. I don't know if I told you guys, but I'm planning on Friday when I get paid <laughs> to get a cookbook from Barnes, something that has recipes uh, that are kind of easy and healthy. Healthy, obviously, is the main thing, and I'm not trying to be like all natural, organic raw food that's not what I'm trying to do because I think I've realized I need to get down to a baseline of eating healthy before I go to the extreme healthy <laughs> um, because I've been eating extreme extremely bad food forever uh, so to go from that to extremely good is definitely kind of a, an unrealistic jump so I think I have to get down to a baseline of eating what a normal sized person would eat who isn't super into like eating kale, quinoa, spinach, green smoothies, protein shakes, like you know what I mean? I, I can't become that yet. And I don't know if I ever will, but I need to at least get down to a baseline. So I'm gonna get a cookbook and I can base my grocery store list around the recipes I plan on making that week kind of thing. Cause right now just guessing isn't working. I got some great advice from Angela. I think about a week ago. About a week ago. I'm still to this day. Still stuck in my head. Thanks, Vine. She gave me some great advice. Um, Angela is iBlog Beauty, if you didn't know. She's a channel here on YouTube. I'll link it down below. She gave me some really good advice. Very, very encouraging. Um, and I took some of that and I got some stuff, but I'm still having an issue with the guesswork of it. Uh, so I think the cookbook will help a lot, hopefully. Fingers crossed um but yeah i'm gonna go to the gym see you guys in a little bit hello so as you can see i'm changed and back from the gym sorry let me pause connor snapchat um i kind of want to give you guys an idea of what i've been eating um for like a few days i was able to eat just chicken and salad and then i ran out of that and i haven't gone grocery shopping again I still have like oatmeal and stuff, but I just haven't brought myself to make it. I don't know why. I need to do that. But typically, I've been eating um, Filipino food because my dad brings Filipino food home from the store or he cooks it sometimes. So this is my first meal of the day, which is really bad because it's like 2.30 and I've been up since 10. Um, this is menudo. Or is it menudo? Yeah, it's menudo. Um, it's carrots, tomato -y sauce, potatoes, and I think... It's either chicken, beef, or pork. I think it's chicken and beef. Or maybe just beef. I don't know. It's meat. And white rice, obviously. The white rice is bad. Well, it's not bad, but it's just like 
you know, it's white rice. You're supposed to be eating, like, whole grains and stuff. Um, I don't really remember why white rice is bad, but it is. It's very, like, fattening. So I guess something I could do is I could still eat the Filipino food, but maybe eat it with brown rice. I don't even know if I have brown rice anymore. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm eating and kind of what I've been eating along with like lots of empanadas. Um, empanadas are seriously the greatest thing. Sorry about the planet on my forehead. Um, empanadas are seriously my favorite thing ever. Uh, I think they're different in each culture, like in each culture that has empanadas. Um, cause we, they can be sweet, they can be savory. The ones I am obsessed with are, um, it's almost like a little handheld pot pie. Um, it's chicken, some potatoes, raisins. It's just really good. If you live by a red ribbon, it's a, Fil I think it's a Filipino store. I'm pretty sure it is. Go get the empanadas from there because it's so good. That, that's kind of giving you guys an idea of what I've been eating. And I still am terrified of how I'm going to transition to, it sounds like, I'm, no, transition to food. How I'm going to switch my eating regime. And honestly, when I'm trying to be healthy, and I think to myself, and I'll be like, okay, I'll start off the day, great, I'm gonna go to the gym. And then I start getting anxiety about like, oh no, now it's time to eat because my stomach is hurting. What am I gonna eat? I get anxiety over what I'm gonna eat because I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm going to see weight management um, with my medical care people uh, in like a week or two, so maybe... <laughs> Once I got on, get on some kind of program, they'll give me an idea of what I should be eating. And the, uh, I'm gonna, I don't know if, I think I told you guys, I'm going to be getting a cookbook. I have such a bad memory. I think I literally just told you that before I went to the gym. After this, I'm going to, I'm just charging up my phone. And I have stuff to do at home, but I also can do some of it outside of the house. So I'm going to go to Starbucks just to get a little change of pace and just be out and about. I'm going to eat now. Hello, so I'm about to head to Starbucks, thought I'd show you guys what I'm wearing. It's a very sheer top. It's not sheer, but it's just not very thick, and then the back is just like that. And normally I wear a different, I wear a different bra with this, because it is, you know, lace and see-through, but, you know, it's not bad and it's not too revealing, so comfortable in my own skin. Oh, my eyebrows are messed up. Uh, there we go. Good enough. So yeah, I'm going to go do some work at Starbucks. See you there. just read, finally, read the read and took the first test for my driving school. Uh, I still have to read, I don't even know how many chapters are, I wish I did, because you, you don't get the next chapter until you pass the test for the previous chapter. So I don't know how much I'm going to be doing. I'm now editing the daily vlog, and then I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay here. I'll probably stay until I finish editing and then head home. It's nice getting out. It's still gloomy, but it's just nice being out here. Excuse my hair, but if you don't like, if you're vegetarian or vegan, don't look. Stay. And outside. No, I know, but I'm doing the meeting process. Outside. There's Dad barbecuing because he's the only one that knows how to use the grill. Shrimp and lob. It was a crab, lobster. Uh, ah. My dad's the chef of the family. If you didn't know. Okay. <laughs> I will. 
Hello. Um, as you can tell, I'm in bed. Um, in the room of yellow lighting, and aka my bedroom. And I watched. I actually started watching the scary movie called Come Back to Me on Netflix before dinner, and then I finished watching it after dinner. By the way, dinner was amazing. So good. It's like the American roast dinner, but it's called barbecue. Even though those are two separate things. You know what I mean. <laughs> as far as like the commonness. Okay, here we go with the rambling. Sorry. <laughs> I was just watching a PewDiePie video. And it was hilarious. And I was outside dying. I was like, I had to be quiet because it's late. And my neighbors, I don't know if they keep their door open or what. But at some point in the night it slams because I'm out there. So, <laughs> I was out there so I was just cracking up. I was just, I was just like, <laughs> you know those kind of laughs? Those are great. <laughs> That's when you know you're having fun. The MacGoover. Sorry. Let's see. This is how a PewDiePie video makes me feel. Let's... Oh! This is called I'm the best player in the world. Everyone else is a scrub, I swear. Hashtag LOL 100%. I definitely didn't just edit out a burp. What is this? <laughs> oh, you turned into my face. Sorry. <laughs> I can't. He's rapping. I can watch some kids. Stupid. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? Look how my face is morphed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh. I can't breathe. <laughs> I just died. Whew. The last video that made me laugh like that was uh, Joe Sugg's new video that he did with Ollie. Uh, they tried, they tried to do yoga, and it was hilarious. Um, but yeah, Pewds definitely. I can always count on him for some good laughs. I'm sure, I'm sure you definitely needed. A little montage of me laughing in your life. Couldn't have gone the rest of your life without seeing that, right? Sorry, I'm being self-deprecating again. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night!